Let's talk about the paraesophageal hernia. Now, is that a special kind of reflux hiatal hernia? What, what is that? Sure. Uh, so I guess I'd start with um, hiatal hernias, um, which up to 25% of the population can have at some point in their lives. It's uh, when the hole in your, in your diaphragm or your esophagus goes through. If it's too big, then part of the stomach can go up into the chest. And if that happens, then that can cause symptoms like reflux or heartburn, um, sometimes chest pain. Um, and it can be a difficult um, Thing to manage. It can ruin a person's life can. and you have the ability to help it. So first thing we do is put the patient on the table, bring the robot in, and then what do you do? Yeah, so um, after the patient's asleep um, and all, everything's set and the um, robot's brought into the room, uh, we make five small incisions on the patient's upper abdomen, um, then we inflate The it. upper part of the stomach, mm -hmm. you're gonna have five little holes that are very, very small, mm -hmm. and, and keep going. Okay, uh, next we inflate the abdomen with carbon dioxide, uh -huh. and then we put our instruments in, including the camera, and then after we do that, then we proceed with operation, which entails um, mobilizing the stomach and bringing it down into the abdomen um, from, from the whole from the hernia. hernia. So Correct. if the stomach is up here, you bring it down where it's supposed to be, mm -hmm. uh, all with the robot. Right. Uh, how do you fix it there? Right. So and then this is kind of where the robot um, comes in handy is because with the precision from the instruments, this is a. I mean, this, there's a lot of um, valuable real estate because where the esophagus is going, the heart's right in front of it, the lungs are on either side, and your aorta is behind it. So it can be a high risk operation, but if you know what you're doing and you have the tools and if you have a robot. Um, something which can help, then you can do this safely. But it involves uh, freeing up the esophagus and stomach, moving the stomach. Free up the esophagus and the stomach, mm -hmm. and then what? And then when you have the hernia visualized, um, then you put some permanent sutures in it to get it to a normal size. So what is your, your purpose on that? Uh, you said paraesophageal, that means beside the esophagus. Correct. You've pulled the stomach down, you've got it ready, you close up the diaphragm around the yeah. hole? So you've got your stitches. Um, if the hernia is especially large and we want to reduce the chance of it coming back, some surgeons may use a certain kind of absorbable mesh, um, not a permanent one because there have been studies showing yeah. that the permanent mesh might or maybe erode into the esophagus. Um, which obviously nobody wants. I um, mean, then part of the operation is doing what's called a fundoplication, which is wrapping. Fundoplication. Now, that's fundo a word I've heard about, and mm -hmm. that's where the surgeon can go in and fix the hiatal hernia. But here you're doing a similar procedure with the robot. Correct. So what, is it, what do you do? So uh, it wraps the upper part of the stomach around the lower part of the esophagus, and it creates a new one-way valve to prevent reflux of stomach contents into the esophagus. Uh, when you have done that, when you have guided the stomach to where it's supposed to be and the esophagus and you've tightened up the hole in the, the, the diaphragm. Have you fixed it? You have, yeah. And so, then, so the operation's done, you wake up the patient and they're home in the next day or two.